Should you build an online course? Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to Weekly Mini Training. As you know, I talk all things courses because that's what I do. But a question I often get asked or I often see being asked is about should someone build an online course? In fact, in a Facebook group I was in just this week, someone came in and said, my business coach told me that I have to build an online course next. That's the next step to leverage my income. The thing was, she didn't want to build an online course. Now, this is going to sound strange coming from me, who is obviously all about courses and a little bit biased. However, I firmly believe that not everyone should build an online course. In fact, online courses don't suit every business and they definitely don't suit every subject matter. So today I want to talk to you about whether you should actually build a course or whether you've just been led to believe that you have to have one because that's what everyone seems to be talking about at the moment. So there are a couple of things to think about when it comes to online courses. I guess part number one will be, do you want to put a course as part of your business structure, as part of your business model? So with this lady in the Facebook group, she genuinely didn't want to build an online course. She wanted to leverage her, her online business model in other ways through advertising and sponsored posts and those sorts of things, but she didn't want to do a course. And for that reason, it made a terrible idea. You see, a course is a hell of a lot of hassle. It's a whole lot of effort up front to build the content and to build the videos and to build the platform. And, but then it's not passive from there on in either. A good course requires support. So it might be sales support during the sales process, support during the learning process, or even post-course support. It's not just to set up and leave, but it actually requires a whole lot of effort to run a course. And she didn't want to, which means it's a terrible idea for her to build one because she's going to end up hating it. So the question to ask yourself is, do you really want one? Or have you just been led to believe that it's the thing you should have next? Because if that's the case, it's probably a bad idea. There are other ways you can build and sell content that aren't in a course. That makes far more sense for you. So do you really want one? Number two, does your audience actually want one? So there are a lot of courses around at the moment. Uh, there's still lots of space in the market and there are lots of things that aren't being done well, but there are a lot of options out there. So you want to really consider, does your audience actually want an online course? Is that what they want to learn from you? Or do they want other things? Do they want support? Do they want um, mentorship? Do, you know, do they want a product, not a service? Like, what do they want from you? If they don't want an online course, if they're not buying the other courses out there, if they're looking for something different, it's going to be a really hard sell. I was talking to a client about this through the week. We were talking about the correct length of a course. So well, it kind of depends on what your audience wants. If they want a quick fix, it's going to be really hard to sell them a 12-month program. But if they want a 12-month full support program, it's going to be really hard selling them a quick fix. It's not what they want. Right? So question number two, does your audience really want a course from you? And question number three, does your subject matter actually suit a course? So there are some things which just don't make sense in an online course. There are some things which make the most sense if they have personal support. So for example, if someone's going through a big life shift or they need legal advice or any of those sorts of things, those things tend to be better off in a one-on-one -on -one situation where you can actually give them advice that suits them, not just a blanket box given advice. When it comes down to something they need support, like weight loss or counselling, funnily enough, they tend to need you. Sometimes a course just doesn't cut it. And then, of course, you've got the things that are really practical. So perhaps you're teaching woodworking or plumbing or something like that. Now, while you can build an online course and you can have good video content, and there are some good online courses out there for these kind of subject matters, nothing beats hands-on experience. To this day, there is nothing better than getting in the classroom with someone who actually knows what they're doing, having a go at it and having them giving you decent feedback on the thing you've done. The wonderful thing about an online course is you can do it from anywhere, but the downside of that is you can't get the input when you've tried something to know if you're doing it right or not. So there are still things that really require face-to-face -face training, and online training just isn't quite as good. Sure, it might work, but it's just not quite as good. So, should you build an online course? Well, it's definitely not always a yes. One, do you really want to? If you don't want to, then this is going to be a whole lot of effort that you're not going to want to put in. So, really ask yourself first, is it something you want to do? Because if it's not, don't do it. Two, does your audience want it from you? Or are they looking for something else, like support or one-on-one -on -one guidance? And three, does your content really suit an online course? Because some of them don't. And if you are going to build an online course, even if your content doesn't quite suit it, really look at ways that you can support your students through it by getting them to submit assessment or by giving them one-on-one -on -one counselling on the side or something like that so that they get the support they need to produce the outcomes that they want to produce. 
So I'd love to hear from you. Do you reckon that courses suit everyone? And should you really build a course? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.